rumors spreading round in that Texas town. About to shack outside the games. And you know what I'm talking about. Just let me know if you wanna go to that whole mound on the range. They got a lot of nice girls. Hello and welcome to Sports Vision the Magazine. I, my friend, am Captain Napkin Neck, and to my left, Big Chief Little Heine. Uh, Big Chief Little Heine, welcome to our country. You bear gifts from afar, uh, corn, I think that's what it is, the yellow stuff that you brought, and we have some things. I hope throughout the show I can help uh, trade with you some wonderful things we have for some wonderful things you brought. You'll be fair to Little Heine. Oh, I'm always fair to Little Heine. The reason being, we're a fair people. And I came over on a, on a Mayflower. You know, and I'm not talking about well, a I boat either. I cousin, Chief Little Johnson. He got cheated, he say. He got cheated? Yes. You I have, found, I found. Where, I what found, is that that you have there? I found this, uh, called, go by the name of Bear. He running, running Bear through tunnels at the, uh, Underneath building. Underneath here. building. He now my him. running back. Because we, we haven't been able to find him for a long time. He mine. Yeah. All right. Well, you know, uh, I'm just so excited that you've come to, oh, this is a very special thing that I've uh, cooked that we're going to have later on. You and I are going to celebrate our friendship. How you cook in these times? Oh, here? this is a solar thing. See, what happens is the sun comes in and it's, uh, I'll explain it to you later, but it's kind of a solar heating thing here. And the sun helps bake it, and it's going to be delicious. You wait till you taste that. Happy Thanksgiving Turkey Day to you, my Happy friend and white brother. Thank you very much. You know, thank you. And, in fact, thanks for all the gifts you brought, and thanks for just being my friend. What happened to uh, usually pilgrim wear, uh, wear black? Oh, hat? He, when you not got, pretty like headdress. Right. When you got hair like this, pal, you don't ever put a hat on it. But uh, in any case, we're going to trade for some wonderful things later on, and we've got this show, and I'm glad you're here with me to, to help me do this. Uh, you, did you just cut out of a, 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 a fight, a war? Because I see you got your war paint on. Yes. Did you win? Yes. I got cigars. Oh. Look at my brother's statue hanging out of front of the storeways. Oh, hey. Go with show. All right. Here we go with Sports Vision, and we take a look now at Cleveland versus Lake Forest. This is seventh grade boys action. I think we're ready to go. Big chief. All right, we pick it up at 15 to 13, Lake Forest. This is girls' action, by the way. Correction. Early in the third, this is girls' action. Cleveland's Rachel Heights, Isom will tie it, driving through the lane. Cleveland goes ahead now on a missed free throw, but the bucket by Erica Scoggins, right there, two points. Lake Forest now. Just get the ball back right here, nice ball movement. Lisa Osborne to Callie Eldridge to Salinas for the score. Cleveland again. Here it is, Ashley Cheek makes it 22-21 Cleveland. Back and forth they go now as Callie Eldridge sinks it for Lake Forest, 23 to 22, Lake Forest, minute 44. The third Lake Forest pulls away some as Karina Walker with a turnaround, Jay. Here she comes, Karina, Karina, there it is in the basket. Cleveland cheerleaders are now are gonna try to get those lady Raider, Raiders rolling. And now here is Sally rolling, Craig rolling, rolling. coming up for Cleveland. She would respond with a putback. Here she is off the glass, 34-26 Lake Forest at this point. 34-27, and here we're going to make it a five-point game as Emily Fair will put it in for Cleveland. It's now 34-29, down to three now as Erica Scoggins, she'll get the ball, she'll drive, she'll take it. With the left hand right here all the way. Good shot off the board, Erica Scoggins. 56 seconds left. It's 35-31, Lake Forest ahead. The cheerleaders now over there saying, come on, let's hang on to the win here, Lake Forest. Cleveland's at the line. And right here, they will cut it to three with the made free throw. 
and switch. There it is. 40 seconds left. Up three. Lake Forest out. Milk on the clock right now. Trying to take some time off with 40 seconds left. Three point lead. Watch him working around into the stall right here. And they're going to try to get an easy shot. Drives the middle. Doesn't get it, but Scoggins with the rebound. Fear makes the basket. One point game. 35 34. 17 seconds to go. Lake Forest off inbounds. Good job. Right there, makes seconds tick off right here. They're using the clock. Cleveland <coughs> finally gets the ball back here in a minute. They're finally going to foul. I mean, there it is. Oh, and that was intentional. That was Bryn McCracken of Lake Forest. She will get two shots. She'll make one, and they'll get the ball back. Three and a half seconds to go. They get it in bounds. It's 36 to 34. Uh, is going to be your final, well, not your final, 36, 34, with a half second to go. Cleveland rolling it in at save time, takes a shot, misses with a half second left, and Cleveland goes down at Lake Forest, 36 to 34, as the Lady Cherokees hold on and win. The Lady Brunettes, excuse me, Cherokees from last they're year. They're Brunettes? What a game, though. Maybe they're blondes. Great ball game right there. And both of them have yet to play Okoye. And you have got the right. boys. Here we go. Here come the boys. Seventh grade action. This is Lake Forest running out on to the court. And we've got uh, Cleveland uh, from Scoggins with the shot. And Lake Forest now will answer right there. Kevin Reimer drives all the way, makes the shot. Scoggins answers off missed shot. And there you go, moving on, Lake Forest now. Travis Moses from Ames, Iowa. Where the heck is that? I don't know, probably by Newton. Scoggins for Cleveland on breakaway, misses. From is his maid, he cleans it up. Chris Kugler now, nice feed inside. Garcia. To there. Garcia, Lake Forest now off rebound. It's Moses, basket, and foul. Cleveland, here we come. He said foul, Cleveland now. Uh, inbound, Hooper, nice corner shot. 14 to nine, you'll see after uh, a half, cheerleaders saying let's get it, let's go, let's get it, let's go. They're doing the Gator thing here. They were doing the Gator deal All right, right there. Chomp. All right. Gator happening thing. Second half, Lake Forest, Ryzen Hoover with the shot. Boom, there you go. It would be 38 to 18 though, a final. And uh, we had some bad cameras. All right, let's move on. Lake Forest, eighth grade girls now. Lake Forest girls running out onto the court. Cleveland girls running out onto the court. We'll see the tip off and tip it right. There's Robbie Derrick. Oh my gosh. I mean, he threw it, you know, however he threw it, I don't know. All right, here we go. Uh, Angie Wells gets the bounce in. Lake Forest with uh, penetration and layup. Angie Wells again for Cleveland right here. Look at this. In, out, it's in. All right, Lake Forest now. Lisa Osborne. Long jumper outside here. Up and good. All right. Dale now. Marshall Dale. Chucky, they call it. Chucky. Inside basket is good. Kerry Bowman for Cleveland. And Bowman would hit a turnaround. We had some tape problems there. We just go to the very last part of the game. Lake Forest holds on to win 36-32. Sorry about the problems, but as you can see, our footage brought to you by First Tennessee Bank. Everybody congratulate each other on a big, nice ball game. Very close game right there. Great game, which we could have showed you, but here we got the boys, eighth grade, Cleveland and Lake Forest. Cleveland out first. Here comes Lake Forest. And I'm telling you, it was uh, not quite as close as the girls' games right here. Right away, we've got Cleveland's Kyle Clayton off the missed shot. Oh, hey, Kyle. We know the big back boy. In. And number 23, you're going to see a lot of this man. Look at him, styling Dylan Douglas, which shows his speed, flashes down the left side in the inbounds, passes the steal, makes a shot. Here we go. Crabtree now is going to get position for Lake Forest. He's going to put it in for the first four. And Lake Forest, Douglas. Going to steal the ball here. Off the try for a save. But Douglas puts it back through. And who is this right here in the middle of all these people? Who is... Man, there's a lot of light coming off that head. Come on. Come on. Turn off the light. All right. Check this out. Steal by guess who. The guy's a flash right here. And I'm not talking about flashing the panties. He's a flash in the court. It's Dylan Douglas. Styling for two more. Lake Forest now. He's Jeffrey, dialing 911. Jeffrey Garrett's going to get a couple here. Finds Crabtree for the score. And now Cleveland 
Yes, it's Douglas. And yes, it's Long. And yes, it's through the hoop. No matter. Good defense there. Didn't matter at all. 13 to 6 after one. Second quarter action now. Douglas from the top of the key. He gets a pass to Kobe Dodd. They make two out of it. And here it is again. Alex Goldstein is going to catch the feed off of Douglas's pass. Douglas all over the court. Kobe Dodd now going to come up, take a jumper from the key. Scores. Dodd now. He's going to spot Douglas. There he is on the break. Douglas over there, takes a shot, scores again. There we go, Cleveland's Matt Whitmire now on a breakaway. And he lays it in. That's Cleveland on a runaway now. Lake Forest, though, will break Cleveland's momentum somewhat here as Garrett will lay the basket in. And Lee Eggleston to Cody Browder right here. Combined for Cleveland. Browder with the shot. Two more points for Cleveland. Cleveland hitting everything. Watch this. Douglas dishes to Whitmire with the shot. 23 to 12 at the half. Cleveland in a runaway. Check out this flip now right here. Watch this. What is with the landing on this? Come on, girl. You gonna get out there and show us here. Watch this landing. There it is. It's a six point landing, not a three point. All right, Crabtree again for Lake Forest. Gonna put some, put through the hoop right there. I can do that. Justin Duvall for Lake Forest trying to come back. Justin Duvall with the basket and the foul. But Douglas now finally is going to miss. There it is. Doesn't hit the shot. But Kyle Clayton is the maid as he cleans up right there. And Lovelace with the feed over here to Cope. Lake Forest bringing a little closer right there. There's Lovelace they in the basket. Huh. Oh. Clayton now for Cleveland out front. Big Kyle, 45 to 23 after three. Lake Forest, Adam Haney in the fourth corner will make the shot and Mr. get Haney. fouled. But Cleveland is going to hold on and go on to win big, 57 to 36. Cleveland Blue Raiders all over Lake Forest last week. And there is your Superior Sports scoreboard. There we go. Middle school basketball, as we told you and showed you. Girls, seventh grade action, Lake Forest over Cleveland in a squeaker. 36, I believe that was 34. 34? Okay, well, we had 32 down there. All right, uh, that's a different game. That's, eight, that's eighth grade. All right, yeah, that's what I said. Seventh grade boys, Cleveland beats Lake Forest 38 to 18. Now we move on to eighth grade. See that, how it changes to eight? And it changes from 34 to 32. Yeah, see how the two changes from the four to the two. Huh? Lake Forest 36, yeah, Cleveland 32 in the girls as the Lake Forest girls sweep, but the Cleveland boys sweep as they beat eighth grade Lake Forest boys 57 to 36. Yeah. Lots of good action right there, lots of. Lots of very good action, Good action, huh? yes. Hey, can I tell you something? Kelly hmm. keeps smelling that. Uh, I saw you over there. You look like you got some precious uh, family uh, Things over there. This real is that real silk? Genuine silk. Is it? That I is mean, nice. Steal it, it off a uh, off one of uh, a silky, one of those four leg animals. That oh, you a have. silky. Yes. Hey, would you like to trade for this? I'll show you what I have. No, this is valuable. Oh, this is very valuable in our country. This is a piece of copper, and copper is worth a lot in our country. It's got a picture of a president that we don't even know about yet on it. This guy mean? will be, what I'm trying to tell you is it's a future piece of copper that's going to be worth so much money, uh, and money is what's valuable, that you're not going to believe it. I will give you this piece of copper for that expensive silk scarf, and trust me, it's worth it. Someone tell me copper police guy. Huh? Copper policeman. Oh, that's, a, that's up north. They call him copper. Hey, copper! Yeah, that's a, that's a different thing. This is a you copper coin. That good deal. Yeah, this is a very good deal. Pro, keep mm. that and hold that. That'll be, you can buy a piece of gum with that somewhere and Thank five you. more of those. I take good But gum. I'll take this and this will be, I'll give this to somebody. All right. Thank you for that. Let's, we can move on. All right. Move on to the 12 and under. Yes. Tournament. 12 and under tournament. Cleveland oh. basketball. Here we go. All right. This is 12 and under tournament Cleveland. This is Hopewell Blue Springs. And Hopewell, Adam Hinman steals. Morgan with the layup, it's good. Hopewell, defense, pressure. All right, Payne to Ridge to Hainman. Hainman, I'm sorry. Nice work there. All right, here we go. Hopewell off Hainman to Morgan. Coming up here, it's good. Right in there. It's 10 to nothing, you'll see Hopewell after one. Right there, 10 zip, Zipola. All right, it's not a lighter either. Matt Hill now finds Cole Hine, breakaway, two points. 
Bruce Springs finally breaks through as Corey Emerson will hit. Hopewell now, Hill Emerson, right back. Emerson, nice shots he just hit. Down. Oh, that's a good one, Chief. Right back, corner, uh, and there you go, there's two points there. All right, Hill again, off Carmichael feed. Carmichael feed, there's Hill, there's a shot, there's the basket, it's good. It's now 16 to two, Hopewell at the half, as you can see the scoreboard up there as we zoom in. Uh, second half action now, Hopewell, Tanner, Payne, and uh, Tanner hits the shot. All right, long pass now from Hinman to Ridge, easy two points right there. Blue Springs now, Emerson to Seth Stollard, it's good. Excellent football player there, Stollard is. 22 to four after three, you'll see the scoreboard right there. See, I keep saying it, and you see 22 to four, it shows up there. Uh, Morgan now on the rebound. Shot is good. Emerson, Emerson nice passes too. Turnaround jumper for Blue Springs. The ball goes through the net. Morgan for Hopewell on another breakaway. And there's two points. Final, Hopewell big, 28 to six as they win over Blue Springs. And they congratulate each other there. See, they're shaking hands, that's what that means. All right, all right. All right, we're on to the girls now. Prospect versus Stewart action and this prospect was Saturday, actually, Katie Frederick for two right there. And there it is, Katie Frederick. Prospect again, that was Dakota Davis. Now Stewart comes back. Sharon Dunn with the shot. She scores. Check out this turnaround here. A bank from, there it is. It's from McKenzie Arena. That was Abby Tipton and here's number Nine to two, number nine to two after the, number it's nine. nine to two after the half. You sound like you're from England. Laura Whitehead with the steal. Laura Whitehead drives. Laura Whitehead puts the basket up. It is good. Stewart now, Katie May. She's going to find Brooke Emerson. And Emerson, nice shot she just made. And then Stewart again. Jennifer Cantonese right here. Jennifer puts it up, two points. Good shot. Stewart comes back now. They're 12 to seven now. They were down nine to two, remember, at the half. It's 12 to seven. Check out number 21 here, Mary, I mean, Macy Logston. Macy Logston, Macy Logston to Sydney Rogers. I think I know that name, Macy Logston to Sydney Rogers with the basket. Logston now, assist right there for the tie to Kiker right there, Stormer Kiker. There it is, she's good and she's fouled. And who is this guy? This guy likes it, I think. That's huh? the Logston guy. That's the Logston about. guy, yeah. And that Logston wife right next to him, right? Huh? How about that? You ever see them wrestling? Wrestling basketball, yeah. What, uh, what's this guy trying to hide right here? Uh oh, there's a kid there. There we go. Oh my goodness. All right. That's Brad Scoggins under that blanket. Melissa Elrod now. Melissa Elrod will score two right there. And on the bank now, Macy Logston. Watch Macy. Come on, Macy. Macy Logston all the way. Steve saying, hey, I like wrestling, but I like it when my daughter makes a bank shot right there. Good drive by Macy Logston. Prospect, Devin Curtis now with the two points. And there he is. And 1.9 seconds left. Stewart is gonna come all the way back right now. And they win the ball game. Okay. Two point lead, prospect with the ball was no good. Stewart, 20 to 18. So they go on to Sunday's action. All right, here we go, boys action. This is Waterville and Valley View. Tip off you saw there, Matt Hawkins drives the lane. Good for Valley View. And the view from the valley is unbelievable. Hawkins again, tip off. There you go, top of the key, he tips it, throws it, it's in, it's good, two points. There you go, Hawkins again, think I'm kidding. Weaving free traffic for guess how many points? He gets a basket. It's two. That's right. Don't say four. Watch Waterville's Cody Goins. Finally does it. Gets two for Waterville. Waterville on break. Sean Hicks on steal. Basket's good. All right. Now we've got Waterville Goins. Basket and foul. We need to get foul there. He's limping a little bit, he shoots a foul shot, and hey, he goes right through the net. He completes a three-point play, and there you go, it's 15 to six, Waterville at the half. What's this? Oh, that, that, that's that kid that, uh, What's that? Camera hog, Chad from, Where come on, from? Chad. Where is he from? All right, Hawkins again for Valley View, VV. And then we got Hawkins. 
Trying to bring in the ball. It's 15 to 10, you'll see here after this basket falls through. It was just 15 to 10. That's Goins right there. there. I was looking down. Goins again down with the eye. Hawkins. There's Hawkins. Basket and foul right there. Yeah, doesn't get that. Off the miss. Goins again. Off the miss free throw. It's Goins again. He gets some goals. He does. It's 23-17. That would be the final. Uh, Valley View would, uh, would, would win the game. Hey, Chief uh, Big uh, Small Heine, whatever your name is, I got something else I can trade for some of those expensive beads you have. Once this I'm is going to be delicious. Do you smell it? Mm. Oh, this is unbelievable. This is premier, you know, well, I won't even tell you about it now. But get some more of those expensive beads, and I'll show you something I want to trade. Because we got some rubies. good trading. Those are rubies? Found them in mountains. Oh, those are nice. Behind. Those are worth a lot. Place of, where uh, we, uh, we go and... Uh, we do our uh, bodily function back there, and these were laying back there. They were laying back? Yeah. You know, those are, worth a, those are a lot of dinero, which is a Spanish thing that we don't even know about yet either, but uh, we'll talk about that. More copper? Hey, no more copper, but I got something else very big. There's a, it, this is something I've just created. It's a very expensive, worth a lot, writing instrument. It is wood, wooden, wooden writing instrument where you can write down, jot down. It's got a rubber tip and graphite, which we found in the mountains, running through the middle of it. Let me see. Wooden writing instrument with graphite and a rubber tip. It is worth a lot. See? And I'll ah. give you that wooden writing instrument for those rubies. I can draw a picture of moon on cave you wall. You can draw moons, suns. Commercial, oh, commercial man. break. This guy's easy. I mean, this guy's nice. I got good deal. Here. I'm going to keep this. You got a great deal, pal. One of only one. Great. I made that. You need groceries. Check into cash. What's check into cash? It's a remarkable place to get instant emergency cash for flat fees. Anytime you have an unexpected expense and need a payday advance, check into cash can make it happen. You write us a personal check and you get the cash you need instantly. My checking account's low. I can't get what we need. Go to check into cash. The next time you need quick cash, for whatever reason, go to check into cash. Remember when you were a kid, waking up to the smell of mom's freshly baked buttermilk biscuits? Well, you're confused. Because she never made biscuits, she made toast. You must be thinking of Hardee's, where real bakers have been making biscuits from scratch for 23 years using real buttermilk. That's the kind of tender, loving care we give everything at Hardee's, like our new bacon cheddar omelet biscuit, loaded with crumbled bacon, cheddar, and jack cheeses, all in a made-from-scratch buttermilk biscuit. Right now, get two for just two bucks. We are back on Sports Vision, the magazine again, uh, Captain Napkin Neck and Big Chief Little Heine as we bring you uh, all this action that's fit to be put on TV. We've got, you know, you know what cheerleading is? You know, like if somebody, okay, let's say you guys are in a war and you're shooting your arrows and you're winning. You know how the, uh, the ladies in the moccasins stand behind you and they go, Oh, oh fuck yeah, they build, they build, they get on fours and stack up and build. And they pyramid. cheer, they throw each other yeah. around, cheer for you. Yeah, me That's mother. what we do this here, too. Me like to be on bottom row when they do build you? the PS. Oh, yeah, you don't want to be on the top. No. Uh, this right here now, this is a contest between a bunch of these people that do that cheering, and we, we've got it on the show. Hey, I want to, while we show this, I want to trade something else for one of these pieces of copper. Things, if you got something else, you yeah, want. let's show. Yeah, you want you got something over yeah. there that we can yeah. find something else. We'll trade.
And there you go. There's your results. A 10 and under cheerleading contest at the elementary basketball tournament last weekend. First place was Blue Springs, 10 and under. Second was Waterville. Third place was Valley View. On to the 12 and under graphic right here. We have first place being Waterville, second place Michigan Avenue, and third place North Lee. What an awesome job right there for the cheerleaders. Hop, bop. Cheerleaders that, uh, you know, when I, I was doing you. the war thing and I... Yeah, uh, see, they lead cheers. You know what a cheer is? Cheer. Cheers. There was some cheers in this next segment. Huh? Cheers here. Yeah. Cheers here, cheers there, cheers everywhere. Consolation round. All right, here we go. Of the tournament, elementary. This is Waterville Ross girls action, as we show you right here. Sunday action, in fact. Now, the Waterville team and the Ross team taking the court, as you can see, brought to you by Waste Management Services. Thank you, folks. And they're coming across shaking hands. All right, getting out there, getting ready to play. There's the coach saying, see these girls here? All right, let's go. This is a person off the rebound, puts it back up, and it's good. There you go. That is Waterville's person. Person. Las Vela person. That's exactly right. Back-to-back -back baskets for Waterville right there. All right. Look at this coming up here off a long rebound. Ross's Jordan Beard puts it in for two. And she dribbles up in the basket. Corner J by Lindsay Maples for Ross. Look at this. Good shot right there by Lindsay. Put back by Waterville's Callie Davis. Coming up right here. There's the rebound. There's the put back right there. And it is good. Davis now. Coming up here in the next segment. Two in a row off her own miss. And up and in. 12 to 6, Valley View at the half. As you can see there, clock ticking down. Second half action, Valley View's Paula White, turnaround jumper, is in the basket. All right, White, again, up and in. And here we go, Ross's Lindsay Maple. Mahita Hush. Uh, Lindsay, up, the basket is good, good job. White for Waterville, taking it down court here. Shoots it up and it goes through. Nothing but net. 22 to 10, Valley View now. In the fourth, Lindsay Maples for Ross. Shoots up and in, good. White for Waterville. Right there, shooting it up and in herself. Looking good, looking good. Whitney Cope. And Look at that Kissed shot. Kissed it off the glass. Oh, my goodness. White adds two more. Waterville will take third place in this tourney. 28-18. There you go. Stuart Prospect boys. Mikey. All right. Well, they're going to get the hardware here first. Yeah, that is Waterville hardware. getting the third place trophy right there. And they're proud of that, and they should be as many teams in this tournament. They come out number three. We're ready for the boys' game now. This is going to be Stewart versus Prospect. Stewart in the black, Prospect in the purple, and Prospect with the introductions now. But Stewart's Edgar Cordero is going to draw first blood. Here it is, the shot. Come on, Edgar. Little hit fake to the inside. Off the glass. I know he called it, but Prospect's Aaron Cochran. What a good little guy right here. Quick. Aaron Cochran uh, is going to score number one right there. Puts it in. Good shot. Big brother wrestles for Bradley High School. Good player. It's 5-2 to two now at the quarter. Prospects. Kaysen suits right here with the putback off the miss. Kaysen up and in. Stewart's Aaron Kegel now. Here he comes down the court. There's Aaron Kegel on the outside. Drives the lane. Passes, gets the pass. Excuse me. And Aaron Kegel makes the bucket. From Nashville, Tennessee, watch how long this one is. This is Cordero for Stewart. My goodness, from way back, 11 to nine at the half. Stewart's gonna have the lead. There it is, 11 to nine. Stewart goes up four now in the third quarter as Kegel's gonna hit a turnaround. Stewart with a six point lead as Adam Raider. There's Adam Raider coming in and he gets his own missed shot and in. Prospect now starts a comeback. Here's Cochran. With the ball, he's going to take a pass right here. There's Cochran out front of the pack. Nice layup, knocked down. No call, but basket counts. Cochran now going to add two more as he's out front. There he is, good defense there, but great shot by Cochran. Stewart, Watson Horner, and he's going to be alone in the corner. There he is with the J. 
no plum there, but he's still there. Stewart leads 17 to 16 after three. Prospects, LaVon Swafford hits a long jumper right here. 18 to 17, Prospect with the lead. Stewart now retakes the lead on a shot by Raider. There it is. Prospect takes it back again as David Eskew from the side over here is going to take the pass. Here it is. Quick jumper, Eskew. And Eskew, it's in. Thank you. God and bless you. Tied at 20. Minute and a half to go. There it is, Jordan Price with the basket. Gives Stewart a two-point lead, 22-20. And again, here it is for a four-point lead. This is Price one more time. 45 seconds left. Conquering now is going to come down. Little guy's all over the place. Cuts it to two right there. Got the victory lap. But Watson Horner is going to hit the jumper right here with just a few seconds left. Here's Watson. Steps around his man. Shoots it up. Scores 26 22 Stewart and they're going to hold on for a four point lead right there and they win and they take third place in the boys action right there at the elementary tournament and they get to come out there does Stewart and collect their hardware there they are right. and there is our scoreboard Joe Cleveland Middle School 12 and under tournament as you can see the excuse girls. me Captain Napkin Nick. There you go. You got it right, Big Chief, little Heine, Miney. Girls' consolation match, Waterville, third place over Ross. Uh, the score, 28-18. We, 28-18 was that score. Yeah. We didn't have it on there at the time. All right, here we go. In boys' consolation match, Stewart came in third place, beating Prospect by a score of 26-22. to So... Big Chief, uh, little Heine. Hey, you got, you got anything else over there? You want to trade for one of these copper pieces? No. Who's Stranger? Who's Stranger? Oh, Stranger! Hey, this ain't a Stranger. Hey, hey, hey. See, Fajita knows. You guys are fantastic. I yes. said, Thanks, I got, a, I got a question for you. Okay. Do you know why the Indians were the first people in this country over here? Uh, I want to ask the same question to the folks out there. You know why? I don't know why. They had reservations. Oh! On behalf of Sports Vision, <laughs> I'm Dan Suri. From Rapaway, have a nice holiday season. All That's right. Good. See, I had some reservations about him coming on the show. Who? Dan Surrey. Who? Dan Surrey. Oh, how is the word? I don't know. He walked up here and... Commercial. Oh. All right, we'll be back. We're take up space. We're more than just checkbooks and loan applications. We are part of this community, just as the community is part of us. Our people have been here for years. We've worked alongside you at the Heart Rock and United Way. We reinvest both time and money, which adds to the quality of life in Bradley County. Any bank can lend money. It takes a neighbor to lend a hand. First Tennessee. All things financial. All things Cleveland. All things community. Member FDIC. And I am running short on cash with the car repairs. And our wedding anniversary is coming up next week. I need some cash. Fast. But from where? I know. Matt was telling me about how First Southern Cash Advance helped him. May I help you? He just wrote them a check, and he got the cash right away. That's easy. I can do that. Then First Southern holds your check until your next payday. It's quick, confidential, and helps take care of life's really important things. First Southern Cash Advance. Cash when you need it most. We're back on Sports Vision. Uh, we're going to have our Athlete of the Week here, a young lady. What are you doing there? Nothing. The pearls. Oh, uh, yeah. We have a young lady here uh, set a record in track and is currently on a, a girls basketball team that is undefeated right now. So our Athlete of the Week brought to you by Checking the Cash. Here she is, Jackie Pickle. Hey, Checking the Cash for sponsoring this segment. We'd like to thank Tommy Caldwell, Cooper's Trophies and Plaques. Tommy provides the plaques for us for this segment. And, and uh, next to me we have Jackie Pickle. Jackie is a multi-sport athlete here at uh, Okoe Middle School. She's a fine outstanding guard on the Okoe basketball team. And just recently, cross country has finished and Jackie set a record. We mentioned it on the show last week. I want to recognize her for that. You sent the, set the area record. And that's including schools with, with competitors uh, such as Baylor, Macaulay, et cetera, uh, on the Baylor track over there. And uh, beat it by quite a bit. Tell me about that record and how long you've been running and how you got so good at that. Well, I just started out running because when I played up in basketball in sixth grade, we had to do something in the fall. And then I just got good at it and I just kept running and I'll lock it. And you've been, how long have you been competing in track? Have you been competing up there for several years? Well, since I was in sixth grade. Since you were in sixth grade. All right, and basketball also came up in sixth grade for the Okoe Middle Colts. And 
who uh, who kind of does your mother, father, or somebody that's worked with you? Who, how have you been able to get that? So of course you got Big Brother. It's a heck of a basketball and a baseball player, right? Yeah, yeah. My parents have a big influence on me. They make me work good. Do a lot of extra shooting and stuff at home. Yeah. And any particular role model you can think of? My parents and my brother. He helps me a lot. And is there any uh, any uh, thing you can say about Coach Spencer? I'm sure he's had a lot to do with bringing you along. What you tell us about him? Yeah, my ball handling has increased a lot because that's all we do. It. Well, we do more at practice, but that's mostly what we do. And what do you think is going to happen here for the Lady Colts this season? They had a tough game against White County there last week. White County gave you a good battle, but you came out on top. But it looks like the rest of the schedule, you all are good enough to, to maybe go all the way. What do you think? Yeah, we're working on getting undefeated, but if we have a loss, we'll just pick ourselves up and try to win the next time. Well, outstanding player, a guard on the basketball team, uh, all area runner on the uh, tr cross country team, also plays some tennis, and uh, Jackie Pickle. We appreciate your time today, and thank you for being our Sports Vision Athlete of the Week. Thanks you, Sports Vision, for making me Athlete of the Week. <laughs> and I'm not really, I'm not really mad. Okay, <laughs> that's good. All right, Jackie Pickle. Cute young uh, okay. Indian you know, princess I'm, right there. I'm sitting there looking at those beads you got there. Those would be nice on that, that cute little Indian princess. I know, I know the guy that she's dating that probably want that. I'll tell you what we'll do. i give you another. I, I'll tell you because those are so nice, and I, I shouldn't be doing this because I – but I'm thinking about giving you two, count them, two of these copper pieces for those beautiful expensive pearls. Would you do it? Hey, you got your hand out there. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, it's worth it. Trust me. Two of them. Now you got, what, three? Ooh, man. You're I rich. Go buy me a house. You're rich. Okay. Big TP. TP on big right. mansion TP. Right. Or PT. Mansion TP that has indoor, outdoor bathroom. Right. Maybe a okay, football now, field in the backyard. It's time for. And a, and a greenhouse. It's time for finals. We must hurry. Yeah. Let's go with the finals here. And we've got the girls' finals. A little bit of blur to begin with on his camera. And Hopewell, yeah, that wasn't really blur. It's everybody's eyes. We got a new camera now. That's not happening no more. Hopewell introduction, Northley introduction. As you can see, they're high-fiving, getting ready to play in this Cleveland tournament. No more of that cheap WTMB equipment. Oh, yeah, here we go. Kept you going for two years. Here we go, first blood. <laughs> Bomb from Washington. All right, here we go, inbounds play. Washington. Amanda, hugging kiss, Smith knocks it down. Two to two after a quarter. North Lee, eight to three in the second, needs help. Tabitha Land gives them a basket. It's now, as you'll see, the scoreboard. Eight to five, Hopewell ahead uh, here in, uh, at the half. All right, 10 to five now in the third. Hopewell up, North Lee, Brooke Hamby. There you go. Great left-handed shot. Oh yeah, Hopewell up 12 to seven. And layup by Christy Blackburn. 12 to 9 off the inbounds as Ali Moreland hits. All right, here we go. Back to back for North Lee as Amato gets uh, out front. I say Amato. I say Amato. It's 12 to 11 after three. All right, yeah. North Lee's Rebecca Hunt. Hurst. Huh? Hurst. Okay. As With in two, Patricia. Has two, count them, two clutch free throws. To put North Lee in front for the first time, 13 to 12 of the fourth. They go up three on Hamby's shot, 15 to 12. Amato, Amato makes it five point lead right there. Kaylee Sweatman makes the lead seven with two minutes to play. Lead down to two late as Meredith Matson hits. Good there you go. Eight seconds left. Hopewell on a breakaway. But North Lee holds on to first place, winning 19 to 17 in this final girls game, North Lee and Hopewell. And you see right here, and there you go, everybody's excited. All right, so, good go. final, two point ball game. They're getting right. their hardware right there, of course. Hardware. You say they're trophies. They're trophies. Right. And there they are, that is the uh, second place team right there. And here comes the First place team, North Lee. Second place, Hopewell, great job. And there's North Lee getting their trophies right there as uh, we got a right shot there? from behind. Right there? Right there. Right there. Okay, we're getting ready for the boys game Are coming you from up here in just a moment. And the boys game final is going to be North Lee versus Ross. There they are lined up. That's the North Lee boys in the blue and white, the Rams. 
and there is a Ross Rockets. In the blue and, and white. And they all blue with white sleeves. Actually, some of them have white sleeves. The rest of them, the first bucket goes to Ross. It's Tyler Brown out front, buries a shot. Ross is Monty Scott, and we know about him for football, too. And Grandpa Scott is awful proud of Monty as he takes it right in. Thomas says, nice shot, son. And North Lee and now is going to pull in front by one as Alex Clark with the basket. Chuck said that, my boy. Scott now puts Ross back in front as we go back and forth to and fro. Scott gets himself two more. Hey, how about that? Mitch Levine gives the lead back to Lee. <laughs> nice work, yeah, Paul. You don't know it. North Lee up two at the corner, eight to six. We move on to the second now. Scott ties it up. And Ross now will take the lead on a bank hook, whatever this is. Watch the shot twist and Bonnerman. I wasn't sure what he was going to shoot, so he just combined for one. Shane Hunt now, a lonely corner J. He's all by himself for Ross. 14 to 8. Ross leads at the half. Now we move on to the second half here. Ross. Tyler Brown. Tyler Brown gives him a 17 10 lead. Downtown Tyler Brown. Downtown Tyler Brown again. Lead is 9 for Ross. Lee, now down 22 to 11 after three. It's over, right? Not so fast, my friend, as Lee Corso would say. Lee's Conley Vanek would get two right here. Alex Clark for Lee would get two right here. Mitch Levine for Lee would get two right here. And Ivani would make it eight straight points for Lee right here as they come back within 22 to 19. It's a ball game. Tyler Brown now is going to step up and stop the onslaught right here, put the lead back up to five as he hits a shot. Alex Clark, though, is going to cut it to three again with an answer. We've got about a minute to go. Alex, good shot. Off balance runner, big shot right here. Tucker Tipton keeps Ross in front. Clark gets it back to four after a free throw. Here's Clark, four point lead, but Ross is going to hold on. 30 to 26 in the final. North Lee and Ross in a great one. So the finals of the elementary tournament, both girls and boys, outstanding games right there. And our scoreboard shows that from Superior Sports. We appreciate their sponsorship. 12 and under tournament, North Lee, 19. First place, Hopewell got 17. Second place, in the girls. Boys, Ross on top, 30 to 26 over. Second place, North Lee. And how mm -hmm. about that? How about them? How about them boys? How about them girls, Ben? Hey, are you ready? Don't be talking like that with war paint on. You want to eat this soon? Yeah, I want. I want to take a quick. Yeah. Break. Don't we? Yes. There you go. <laughs> Commercial. Me be straight. Yes, Kimosabi. Well, I be taking that, smoking that wampum wooch pipe yeah, you have see? with me. Commercial. We'll, we'll do this. We'll eat this later. It's going to be good, I promise. Those guys get been. Complete chiropractic care. Dr. Russell Smith and his friendly, dedicated staff can help relieve chronic back pain, neck pain, headaches, allergies, and also sport-related injuries. Cleveland Chiropractic Clinic has a licensed massage therapist on staff and two certified in-house x-ray technicians. Complete insurance filing is available and 24-hour emergency care. Phone 472-1140. The employees of Duracell's three area facilities would like to give hearty congratulations to our three area high schools for excellence in academics and athletics. Rocker Valley High School, Cleveland High School, and Bradley Central High School. Keep up the good work, students. We are proud of you. From your local Duracell facilities, Mouse Creek Tasso, and the Corporate Distribution Center and Warehouse. At Duracell, our people are our energy. Here we go. Hush. Here we go, high school basketball media day put together by Mike Shires, WTMB sports director. Check this out. Bradley, this is my third year, uh, but the staff is new. Uh, we have Reggie Holtry and Brian Glazer. So we've got a good mix of coaches working together. The, the attitude of the team is very positive. Uh, you know, like you, we've been scrimmaging, we've been working, uh, and, and like Mr. Hughes said, we're all zero zero. So. Um, I'm, I'm excited about the season. Uh, there's a lot of questions to answer uh, with the season coming up, but uh, I know I know we'll work hard, and I'm, I'm sure, like you, you'll work hard, and uh, we'll see how everything shakes out. If you compare our team um, to last year's team, your initial thoughts are probably going to be that there's not a whole lot of change. Um, and to an extent, that is true. We're returning five players. Um, all of whom played an important role last year for us. 
Um, we feel like this begins with Sarah Rogers. Sarah joined us last year and she's kind of the new kid on the block. Um, did a good job of being put on a team that was somewhat established and been, had been together for a couple of years. But um, now this year we feel like she's the glue that's going to hold us together. She's playing with somewhat of an inexperienced group that um, she's going to have to groom and be the leader on the floor. And she understands that. Here I'll start off by explaining how, what, what type of coaching we have in this district. I don't think a lot of people understand, uh, especially at the high school level. We have overall great coaching from girls on down to the guys. And, uh, you know, in the district for a year, I, I realized that more and more. Uh, one thing I didn't realize, how many liars we got in here. Lord, everybody's going to be terrible. <laughs> hey, what? But, uh, you know, overall, I, I, that's that's something I want to say. I respect uh, all the coaching that's done. I know how much time you put in. Uh, you know, my dad was coaching high school, and I grew up uh, in a coaching family, so I understand being a coach, but I understand what, what you go through, and uh, what you know, I appreciate it. Oh, I'm not going to sit up and lie and... Uh, tell you I don't think we're going to be pretty good because I, I think we're going to have a chance to be really good this year. I think those guys back there that are sitting uh, in the back table back there are going to be the ultimate decision makers on how far they're going to go. Um, I think the seniors that we have this year, if you look down on paper, we've got three that have had varsity experience and three that are coming from the JV that are going to be playing a lot for us this year. Um, the one thing I can tell you about interacting with these guys is number one, they've been such quality in the classroom, but number two, um, to interact with them off the basketball court, away from the weight room, and being on the river with them or going some places outside of basketball.